Hello and welcome to another session of Answer the Community, where I answer your questions regarding tech gadgets, headsets, headphones, and other office technology. Hello and welcome to Answer the Community. I'm Rolando, founder of Global Tech Worldwide, and today we're going to answer questions regarding Bluetooth and connectivity problems. And I want to remind you to hit that like and subscribe and hit that bell so that you know when we've released a new episode as well as other nuggets that come out through the week. We've got another question from Tim. Tim says, I have a wireless connection on my Plantronics Voyager Focus that is terrible. He just says terrible. I have this headset connected via Bluetooth to a brand new MacBook Pro, okay? I connect straight to the MacBook and do not use the supplied USB dongle. Although I have tried that setup and it does not help. It says, he goes on to say, regular breakup of audio signals on calls has forced me to stop using the headset entirely. Well, let me help you out, Tim. The issue, like some of the other complaints uh, that other folks have mentioned may not be the the dongle or the headset. What we're finding when we when we talk to folks that call us every single day of the week about this type of issue, the biggest issue is that the range and the signal drop because of what we we're talking about earlier, line of sight. And although a MacBook Pro and in behind me I've got a Lenovo, I also use a MacBook Pro. And I've been using, in this case right here, this is the Voyager Focus 2, and uh, which is a very similar to the Focus that you have. I've used them both, and I find the exact same problem. Uh, in my setup here, as you can see, um, I've got a laptop here, and one you can't see underneath where my MacBook Pro is. And where that MacBook Pro is, I can't, I can't go more than 10 feet. If I just take this dongle, if I just take the dongle and plug it in, to the MacBook. One, the MacBook is down there and the signal cannot get through this table. But let's say you don't have it, connect, uh, your, your MacBook Pro under the table. Maybe you have it like kind of off to the side there. You're gonna find that the antenna on this, look at this thing, it's a very small dongle. So although it's got a built-in antenna, it doesn't have a lot of uh, surface area for this antenna to, to work with a signal. Again, Bluetooth is a very weak signal. It is not designed to go through a lot of monitors and concrete, metal objects, books, walls. It does a very poor job of that. Even your own body, it does a very poor job of that. Uh, if you want to use it with your computer, and, I, and that's what you suggest by using it with a Macro Pro like I do, I would recommend using the Blue Beacon range extender so that when you want that better range, that improved range. This will essentially give you line of sight, no matter if you're standing up, moving around, or you want to move further. Your, your main issue is going to be connectivity. When you have Bluetooth and you have monitors, you have walls uh, and other objects, unless you're on a soccer field uh, or you've got a line of sight, you have nothing around you you will find that your Bluetooth connection will suffer when it does not have line of sight. And again, line of sight is simply, does this headphone have a clear line over from the Bluetooth dongle to here? And what we're saying is take this, let it act as a virtual tower and just about everywhere you're going to go around it here, or on the other side of those monitors, you can see the higher that I put it, the better, right? So if I were to, if I had put it on my monitor here or on the side and taped it there, when I get up, this is still gonna have line of sight. But if I were to drop this and just let's say, assume my computer's down here and I get up and I walk over here, even over here, What you're going to have is the likelihood, as you can see right on my desk, I've got a keyboard and a few other items. And because this dongle is quite small in its profile and very small antenna, these 
objects are going to interfere with the signal. So it may not be your headset. It may not be the dongle and it may not be your MacBook Pro. Uh, it is just simply the physics that you're working with and that we're trying to let you know. It's hard to overcome physics, especially with Bluetooth, because it's a very low power signal. All right. Thank you, Tim, for that question. And if you have a question regarding Bluetooth or anything related to headsets, telephones, speaker phones, or other hands-free devices, send us a comment. We may feature it on a future episode of Answer the Community. In the meantime, look through our YouTube channel where we have multiple videos that are helpful and that can guide you on your journey. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when we release the new episode as well as nuggets that we release throughout the week. Thanks again for joining us and I'll see you the next time on Answer the Community.